What is good, everybody? Today we have a two in one WWE Elite figure review on WWE Elite Series 108, LA Knight and Terry Gordy. Now, this is two first time in the Elite line figures. I know that LA Knight does have a basic figure, he even has a Chase basic figure, but today we're diving into his first Elite man. And a lot of people saying that the basic is better than the Elite. We shall find out here today, man. But we also have Terry Gordy two in one figure over there, which is very cool. So, we're going to dive into all the different details and the lore of these two action figures. If you already want these figures, you want to grab these right now, go over to ringside collectibles.com. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I am quite excited to get into these figures, but I will say Elite 108, you know, my first thoughts on the wave, kind of eh. Not gonna lie to you, you know, kind of eh. You know, we'll get into the, the, the whole details of that as we break down each figure in this set as we get through our reviews. But today we are looking at LA Knight and Terry Gordy, man, and you guys can just see, they ended up going with a different head sculpt on this Elite compared to the basic, and I don't know what the hell's going on here. Mine looks a little bit better than other people's, which I'm glad to say. I feel like the eyes are just printed weird on a few others, but here's our modern 2024 packaging. Guy on the side, guy on the back, the name, the bio read, all the different stuff. Very mid-wave to be real. Name on the side, LA Knight, and that is our packaging for our LA Knight. And then we have Terry Gordy, which is somebody I never would have expected, but, you know, UWF Championship here on the render, kind of an Easter egg or a foreshadowing detail to the new Legend Series that we just saw in Legend Series 23 with uh, Big Bubba over there. But Terry Gordy, first time in the line, Terry Gordy over there, UWF, and then you have Terry Gordy on the back. So kind of cool, man. Kind of a mixture of old and new here in this review. But nonetheless, man, we do have Elite Series 108. Really excited to dive into it, see what they're all about. So that being said, man, let's dive into these two figures, find out what they're all about, and also, Happy Easter, by the way. But let's get into it. Yeah! All right, man, so here's LA Knight and Terry Gordy out of our packaging. Of course, Terry Gordy is a two-in-one figure. So at the end of the video, we will have him in his executioner gear. But right now, we do just have the regular wrestler right there with Terry Gordy. But the LA Knight figure looking pretty solid here. We're going to dive into all the lore, of course, break it all down, and I think I'm going to put this LA Knight figure on surgery. It should be a fun day as we get into that. We're going to do all the comparisons, break down all of the information you need on these figures, man, but let's shut the hell up, dive into Elite Series 108, and find out what these figures are all about. We're going to start off with LA Knight's accessories in LA Knight, and then we'll pass it over and take a look at Terry Gordy's accessories and Terry Gordy. All right, man, so for LA Knight's accessories, you'd get the entrance vest, a microphone, and two pairs of interchangeable hands. Now, the vest is pretty solid. I like this sculpt here. It is a new sculpt. It's got like some nice details and sculpts in here. All these studs are on here. It says LA Knight on the back there. Kind of plain Jane, you know, kind of thinks of like really base gear, not anything, you know, a, a very memorable gear. You know, it is what it is, but you do have the Defiant right there, which is cool. And then you have these studs on the sides and then again, the LA Knight on the back. You know, anytime they give us rubber goods, it, it better be in a vest, man. That's all I gotta say. It better be a vest or a duster. That's it. Anything else, you can throw it the hell out in the yard. Now, nothing to really write home about. We do have a modern triangle style modern WWE microphone here, which gets the jobs done. Clean logos, except for that little piece of schmutz right there, but that's okay. You know, we've, we've seen this a million times. Nothing to write home about, but it is cool to get an LA Knight microphone. You know, you can cut a promo on you. Yeah! Then we also get mic holding hands here. One of them's a little bit wider. I think it's because it was holding the mic in the packaging, but you have the white tape on the fingers, and then you have this little thumb tape here, which goes with the black wrist tape, so it is what it is. You know, kind of mismatch. Nothing to write home about here, but, you know, the mic holding hands always make the world go round. And then for his other accessories, it's just pointing fingers, and you guys know what it is, man. He's got the tape fingers and the tape thumb, and these are made to uh, point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. All right, man, so for LA Night, man, this head sculpt is giving people a lot of fits. I think that, you know, it's not the best ex execution of the guy. I actually don't hate this head sculpt as much as I did in promo images. I don't think it's great and it's definitely not as good as his basic. It kind of looks like an off-brand version of the basic kind of. It just doesn't capture the likeness like it should, but I don't know. I think mine actually is printed on there nicely than a lot of other people's, but the sculpts, you know, the hair sculpt's good, the beard's fine and everything, but going down to the torso, I don't mind this torso. I know a lot of people were kind of harping on this torso selection for LA Knight. I don't hate this torso, but I think that the Macho Man torso would have been better for him. You you know, I'm glad they didn't go with damn Triple H or Drew McIntyre style torso, but I think that the Macho Man style or the Eddie Guerrero style that they put on his elites would have been perfect for this figure. But I do like that they went with the big shoulders and arms here. This is the perfect arms and shoulders, I think, for LA Knight, so that's good. He's got the Knight graphic on the crotch with the LA in yellow with the black, and then on the back it does say LA Knight. Again, kind of a basic gear, man. Kind of that, you know, like introduction style gear. It's not anything profound or anything like that, but the red does look good, and I kind of, I don't know, I feel like LA Knight and red kind of go together for whatever reason, but we do have the 
these tiny legs, man. I don't like the leg mold here. The legs could definitely be bigger. I wish they went with Ziggler thighs instead of this leg mold here. And I don't know the exact leg mold here. I want to say it's Stone Cold, maybe. Like, Stone Cold Steve Austin Elites, those kind of thighs. And he's not on ball joints, so that's going to be a problem. But he does have standard black knee pads, and then he does have his Big E style boots here. Really wish we could have got the Jordan 11 boots. Maybe we'll get that in an elite form soon. But he does have the LAs there, the Knight on the side, and on the back it does say LA. So at least they captured some details of the shoes, which I like. And the red outsoles are cool. Now, in terms of posability, he can do a lot of the stuff, man. He's got a really good kick forward. He's not on ball joints, but he feels like he does. He has upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and he's not... I knew that something was up, because neither of these figures are pinless, and I was kind of posing them around. I'm like, damn, these actually pose quite nice. It's because they don't have the damn pinless legs that make them stiff as hell. So that's great, but he's very buttery smooth. Can do all the different things that elite figures do. Double jointed arms that are pinless, which are great. Very buttery smooth here. I, this figure actually feels quite damn good in hand. I just wish that the formula was different, but let's get into some LA Knight figure comparisons, and for our first LA Knight comparison, we do have the basic, and the Elite is actually much taller than the basic, which I thought his basic was too short, so I'm glad that they upgraded that, made it a little taller, but look at these differences in head sculpt. This one on the left looks much more realistic, I think. I think it looks way better, but the problem is if you try to head swap these, not only is the skin tone inaccurate, so they did put a different skin tone on there. This guy has no neck when you uh, put this in here. Now, I am going to stick some sticky tack in here or something, and I'm going to leave it like that right there, I think. We're going to probably do this on surgery or something. We're going to put some sticky tack on there, because that right there looks way better. And the skin tone doesn't really bother me that much. It's kind of hard to tell on camera anyway, so I don't really hate it. But I think this torso is fine for him. It's the thighs that kind of throw me off. But I'm still glad to have an LA Knight in elite figure form. But this head sculpt's way better than this one, man. I ha You hate to see that. But I think if you put this one over here, does this work? I think it sits too high or something. Yeah, look at that. He's got a damn giraffe neck or Empire State Building neck. Shout out my man Jesus. But yeah, we're gonna pop this back on here, but I did want to give a shot of that. If you guys are interested in seeing what that looks like, so that's kind of cool, but yeah, definitely gonna have to fix this up in some capacity, and why would you make the skin tones different? I think this figure would actually look better, too, if it had that darker skin tone. Would kind of give it, you know, that realistic feel, but I don't despise this head sculpt. It's just, the details could have definitely been executed better for this LA Knight, but yeah, now I guess I can uh, sell this basic. I have no, now that, the, now that the Elite's here, this guy's gonna go in my crowd, so once I head swept this, I might sell the basic with this head sculpt or mod it to fit it or put him in the crowd. I don't know. We'll do something. Maybe sell it on whatnot. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's the LA Knight figure. Why did I say that so weird? You're weird, Brad. You're weird. So with this being a two-in-one figure, man, you get quite a bit of accessories here. I mean, look at all the slew of stuff that you get with this Terry Gordy figure, man. And I guess we could just start off with the head sculpts here. I really like the curly hair. I think it does resemble Gordy pretty good here. Maybe a bit orangish or brownish in the hair tone instead of the blonde that you may come to know. But it still looks good. I think the facial expression is good. I think it looks and captures a lot of likeness there. Kind of reminds me of Glenn Jacobs or something. But I like the interchangeable head sculpt and I like the curly hair a lot. I think they did a good job here. Then you have the interchangeable executioner head sculpt with the black face mask over there, which is really awesome. They did a good job here. I think it does look like him with the mask on, so I think they did a good job there with the sculpts and the likeness. But also what's cool is they have these mask sculpts in here, and they also have it coming over the, the chin right there, man, so it like caps over it, so you can actually get that full mask sculpt in there, and you get the red details there. So I think that's awesome that they got that in there. Like, this is a full head sculpt that you can pop off, so. So you know, you can come in here like this and plop that on right there. Look at that right there, man. It looks like the guy is wearing a black ski mask or a black mask over his face, so I think they did a really good job right there. Nice details and good execution of that. Now, outside of your head sculpts, you also get his scythe here, or his, whatever the hell you want to call this thing, man, but very long indeed. You even got the wood grain sculpted in there in the brown color, and it's just a stainless steel blade right here, which I don't think you're going to be cutting vegetables or nothing with that, but it looks good. I think that they did a job right here. Good execution of that. So we've seen some weapons like this in the past from Mattel, and then probably the two main accessories of the big time ones are the cloth goods, man. Now, this is very nice, man. Very nice. It even has the velcro on the back and it's a stretchy material so you don't have to worry about it really clogging up your figure or getting lost on there or you know really hindering anything so it actually goes on the figure quite nicely like look how stretchy it is and this just really reminds me of an ultimate edition how quality this is even got the red cuffs in there this looks awesome we're gonna see what this looks like on the figure but I, it fits the figure pretty well i might add so i'm enjoying this a lot and then we have the massive entrance cape right here or just this massive you know druid style cape right here it's even got the jagged designs right here 
here around the collar. It's got the hood on there. It even has the cuffs so you can actually wrap it around his arm so you can do like the Batman or what have you. Red looks good. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. So this is very high quality cloth goods, man. I mean, it's kind of crazy that they could even fit this into a regular Elite figure, man. So now they've set the bar, you know what I mean? Now the bar's set. I mean, this, <laughs> this accessory is insane. This might be one of the better accessories we've seen all year or we'll see all year is this Elite 108 Executioner robe. I mean, this is crazy details right here. They did a great job, the Mattel Designs team, at, at using this and executing this, man. So I'm quite impressed, and we're going to see what this looks like on the figure in a minute. And then for interchangeable hands, we do get the mic holding or weapon wielding style hands, and he's got the white tape over the knucks over here on the right hand. And then he also comes with interchangeable fisted hands, and of course, on the right side, it does have the white knuckle tape like we just said, and these are for beating the hell out of people. All right, man, so I wanted to get into the Executioner way of the Terry Gordy figure here with all the garb on there so you guys can kind of see what it looks like here. So here is the head sculpt. I know we already took a look at the head sculpt, but I still just want you guys to see this. This is what it looks like with the entrance robe on there with the overalls or the entrance or the singlet style deal that he's got going on right here, man. Very good material, like I stated, but it looks pretty damn good, you know, and you can bunch this up here. It will come a bit low. I'd push that up above the boot there because the cuffs kind of cover it, but this is a true two-in-one. I mean, there's so many bells and whistles going on with this. I could see people putting this on multiple characters if you don't care for the Terry Gordy or the uh, Executioner figure, but I like everything everything going on here, man. I mean, look at this. You even have these cuffs here, like we stated, that you can, uh, you know, you can, like, Batman that thing, where you can, like, go wide out here. Just crazy, man. I just wanted to showcase this before we take a look at the figure without all the garb on. I wanted to, you know, put all the put all the garb on and look at the garb off, so you guys can look at that. But let's get into some Terry Gordy or Executioner figure comparisons. So for our comparisons, we don't have any other Terry Gordy. This is a first time in the line, man. So we do have the Elite 106 Paul Bearer. We have the Ringside Exclusive Three Faces of Foley 3 Pack. Mankind figure, and then we do have the Legends 19 Undertaker Elite over here. And all these look pretty damn good, man. I like this a lot. I think you get some good stuff here. He might could be going with some different takers there, but I like the Legends 19 there with the teardrop. But all these look pretty good. I think these scale pretty well for the most part. Maybe. I could be wrong. If anybody thinks different, you can let me know down in the comment section. But it is cool to see the Executioner up here next to the rest of these characters in our collections, man. Not one I would have expected, man. When we were at San Diego Comic Con, that kind of blew me away there, man. They've been doing, I feel like they've been doing a really good job of and putting some new fresh faces out here in the line. So getting into Gordy, man, starting out at the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt like we stated beforehand. I think it looks good, and I think they did a really good job on the body selection here. I like this body style. You know, we've seen this on Iron Sheik and different characters over the years, but I like this. I still think that this arm mold, we've talked about this arm mold. I like that they didn't go with the overly jacked arms like Mankind, but again, man, that medium mold, like guys like Kevin Owens, Mankind, guys like that, man, we need like a medium build, like a chunkier style arm that would fit those guys better than the skinnier arms or the overly jacked arms, but kind of plain Jane, just white wrist tape. You got the black trunks in there, and then going down, he just has black knee pads that are open, and then he has tall black boots with white socks sticking out. Nothing too crazy to write home about, you know, no graphics, you know, he's not, he, he ain't rocking no damn Captain America style gear or anything like that, man. But I am liking the execution of this figure, man, and uh, he actually articulates quite damn well, and he's not on ball joints, but he moves around quite nicely. I'm having a lot of fun posing him around, you know, he's, I don't know, I think he could put on a five-star classic, like the way he's able to feel in hand and stuff like that, but you know, I don't think, you know, you need him to do freaking swanton bombs and 450 splashes. However, I, I like this figure a lot, and I think it looks badass, but uh, let's put him in the Executioner garb. But yeah, man, I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 108 review on LA Knight and the Executioner Terry Gordy figures, man. Really enjoying both of these. I really like the feel in hand of the LA Knight, like right, the head sculpt's not very good compared to the basic. I definitely prefer the basic head sculpt, and the gear's not my favorite I would have preferred, you know, getting the Jordan 11 boots, but uh, maybe something we could do on surgery. But I mean, that's, you know, I don't know. Just the proportions are weird. I don't really mind this torso. I would have preferred a Macho Man torso in this LA Knight figure, but I don't mind the torso that they gave him. I like the arm size and the shoulders and stuff. I think the Ziggler thighs would have been better. You know, the Cody Rhodes thighs or the Ziggler thighs would have been money. And then that would have, that would have probably helped the figure a lot, but it is what it is. It's not on ball joints, so I really don't know what the hell we're going to do there. Uh, going to have to figure out something or, you know, just try to finesse something out of it anything really so we'll see about that but yeah I, I like the LA Knight though I think it's okay I think it's all right figure not the best execution but we'll have to see about that and then the Terry Gordy figure pretty much shocked me it is a complete two-in-one it is completely two different figures it's kind of nuts how much you get there and all those different things man the two different head sculpts I like the scythe little reaper deal that it comes with I like the robe I like the onesie or the overalls deal that he comes with man so it's very crazy how much they included with him he's almost like an ultimate edition in, in, in some ways so that's kind of crazy but I enjoy these figures, man. If you guys enjoy these figures too, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, wrestlingfigures.com, save 10% using code MDTOYS.
always a checkout, but I like these figures a lot, and I would recommend them both. I would prefer the Elite LA Knight, just because, like, I don't care how much articulation they give the basic figures, man. At the end of the day, it's not going to be an Elite, man. It's not going to be an Elite. The Elites are better than the main events or the basic figures, and I will always, every single day, prefer an Elite over a basic, and that's just the way that is, man. But I'm glad to have an official Elite LA Knight, and the head sculpt does look better in person compared to promos, and mine, I think I got, like, a look of the draw because I think my head sculpt looks better than some others I've seen, so we'll see about that. I still want to head swap it with the basic, but we'll see about that. We'll see what all goes on into that, man, but I would like to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below, man. I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys do enjoy your Easter Sunday, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all the thoughts down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Thank you guys so very much for all your support over there, man. You guys are absolute beasts. We are heading into WrestleMania week, and I cannot be more excited, man. Gonna be epic as hell, and it should be great, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.